ultra competitive Aprilia 450 class take on Mallory Park for the final round of the championship. But can anyone beat the pace of lap record holder Ben Gortry? This is GP Racing Dream, the next step. <laughs> Well, welcome to Mallory Park here. The final round of 2012 is upon us. The Aprilia 450s, an absolutely wonderful championship full of close racing. We have a champion already in uh, young Callan Cooper of Ramsey in the Isle of Man, but second and third place still up for grabs. Two races to bring you here. All of these bikes absolutely identical, of course. The Aprilia RRV 450s, a championship that was brought to Thundersport GB calendar a couple of years back. There is the champion, number seven. Callan Cooper, what a year it's been for him in terms of actual Thundersport GBs. Won three championships now this weekend. Incredible stuff. There's David Allingham, number 11. If it weren't for injury, he might have had something to say about Callan's championship win uh, later on in the season. David uh, confirming that he will be in this championship again next year. And uh, third on the grid, you can see Tom Oliver. Tom is currently, as we enter this weekend, second in the championship to Sam Cox. Here on the Saturday races, lost out on a few points. He's not had the best of weekends so far. It's between number 20, Tom Oliver, and number 54, Sam Cox, for second and third overall in the championship. The lights go out, and away we go. That's Will Hodgson on the inside, number 14. Keep an eye out for him also, currently fifth in the championship as they turn into turn one it is looking like it's going to be the jdf racing rider the champion of 2012 or is it actually that could well be somebody else completely up the front let's have a look as they come around it's david allingham that leads the ulsterman number 11 from number seven callan cooper third place now for tom oliver and oh and there's a faller there into ed wieners and there's a rider down and that is tom oliver tom oliver who is well, he looks, da he looks down and now he looks a bit hurt there as they go down. He's holding his back. I do hope that Tom's okay. The rider from Colchester, last year's Aprilia super team. Runner up and the red flags are out. Red flags out. Tom Oliver out of this one. We're ready for a race restart here. An eight lap dash now for the first race in the 450s. No Tom Oliver on the grid. And that means Sam Cox number 54 can do some serious damage in terms of the championship. Sam with a decent finish here. Well, he's just going to inflict more pain to Tom Oliver. We understand Tom is up and walking about, which is good news. But it's David Allingham again that gets off to the best start. David uh, looking to try and secure fourth in the championship overall. Number 11, he missed a couple of rounds due to injury. But he leads from the championship. Champion of this year, Callan Cooper. What a ride it has been for him this year. It's Will Hodgson, the inaugural 450 Thundersport champion in third, number 14. And that looks like Louis Dawson, number 34, going well up into fourth place. Louis Dawson has eaten something for breakfast here because uh, he really has been going well this weekend. There's number 23, Adrian Pendrill, looking for some 450 points. And look at Louis Dawson up the inside of Ross Twyman, number 15. Number 94 there, that's Jamie Thackeray. Him and his brother Luke Thackeray, number 94 and 95, have been inseparable all the way through the weekend so far. So it's going to be interesting. Further back, Bradley Jones, number 75, an ex-super team, along with uh, fellow ex-super team Ben Luxton, number nine. But it's still Allingham that leads the way. Now, uh, the champion, Callan Cooper, we understand, is moving on to a 600 next year. Uh, possibly a BSB, we don't know, but onwards and upwards for him. Uh, Tom Oliver, of course, congratulations to him. Uh, thanks to his wonderful rides on the 450 this year, he was the uh, Triumph Young Guns champion, and he moves over as well. But will be coming back. Sam Cox has got himself a 600 and we're racing with Thundersport next year. But I understand that David Allingham, Ross Twyman, Bradley Jones, uh, both Jamie and Luke Thackeray and Will Hodgson are staying in this class with a view to trying to win the championship next year. But boy, oh boy, are they going to have some competition because there's three or four prettier super team riders that are going to come in um, and face them for the title. 
And uh, the favourite of those certainly has to be Lewis Rollo, the Aprilia Super Team champion, freshly crowned. The young 13-year-old Scotsman uh, will be joining these guys next year on a free ride, courtesy of the uh, Super Team Championship win. And he moves up into this class next year, and who knows what he'll be capable of in this uh, uber competitive class. As Grace mentioned at the top of the show, Black Record still belongs to uh, the late uh, Ben Gortry of 54-7. Uh, these guys at the moment, it's quite cold track conditions, not the driest, a few damp patches, they're lapping in the 55s. There is Ben Luxton, number nine, just ahead on circuit of uh, Alex Baker there, number 22, and Bradley Jones. But back to the front we go. David Allingham, the Ulsterman, number 11, ahead of Callan Cooper. You have to say that if Allingham is staying in this championship next year, he has to be the outright favourite to take it in 2013. Although I'm sure Will Hodgson there will have something to say about that. Uh, will is uh, positively geriatric compared to some of these guys, and yet he's still in his just his 20s, I guess. There's Dean Court, number 36, having some fun out onto the start finish straight currently just inside the points but uh, these two pulling away from the chasing pack will hodgson still in third but it's allingham up the inside of the champion callan cooper young man from ramsey on the isle of man uh, speaking to his dad earlier on down in pit lane and uh, they're really not sure what to expect next year of course a jump onto the 600 it had to be done He's uh, won three championships this year with Thundersport GB. You can't really ask for more than that. So he's going to make the next step. And, well, he's certainly the right size for a 600. And all the best to him in the future. Keep your eyes out for the name, folks. Callan Cooper. It will come up in the future, I can assure you. As will David Allingham's, because he is doing a fine job at the front of this 450 race. Will Hodgson, a lonely third. This is a good battle now for fifth place. That's Ross Twyman, number 15. Oh, and there's a rider go down. Goes He's gone down into turn one, into Girard. Who's that that's gone? That's Louis Dawson. Louis Dawson enjoying one of his better races this year. He's lost the front end into Gerrards whilst fighting with Sam Cox and Ross Twyman. But it's still Allingham that leads from Cooper and Will Hodgson. Sam Cox needs to be a bit careful here with Tom Oliver, of course, out. And the red flag is coming out. A decent lump of points needed here for Sam Cox. And he might just get second place in the bag. Meanwhile, David Allingham, fresh from injury, he's come back and in pretty much since Cadwell has been on the pace. He leads this race from the champion of 2012, Callan Cooper. Then, that's the battle for third place. The last lap flag is out. It's going to go down to the wire between Ross Twyman, number 15, and Sam Cox for fourth and fifth. Meanwhile, this is the battle for first place. Will Hodgson in third, desperately hoping these two guys wipe each other out, I suspect. But it's Allingham still that just has it from Cooper. In the background there is Sam Cox just ahead of Luke Thackeray, number 95. Then Ross Twyman, number 15. And Jamie Thackeray, number 94. All defensive line there from Allingham. And they nearly do wipe each other out as they go through Shaw's hairpin. Now through the bus stop. Will Hodgson's closing on these two. Another couple of laps and we could have had a three-way fight for the lead. But they exit the final corner. Cox looks to have that sewn up as he know. Around the outside. What a move that is from Luke Thackeray. Where has that come from? A beautiful move from Luke. Across the line they go. Allingham wins. Cooper second. Hodgson takes third. Luke Zachary, an excellent fourth out of Sam Cox. And Ross Twyman in sixth. Sam Cox then takes 11 points. And I think, I think that gives him about a 13 or 14 point advantage over Tom Oliver as we go into race two. But a good win there by the skin of his teeth from David Allingham. And there are the three... Podium sitters, David Allingham, Callan Cooper and Will Hodgson. Third position in the Aprilia RRV 450 Cup, Will Hodgson. You must be pleased, third time you're on the podium and fastest lap in that race. Yeah, um, I think David was holding Callan up and um, Callan was holding David up so it allowed me to set tagging on towards the end. Um, yeah, mega results all weekend, really enjoyed it. Um, the pace has been red up but the boys at the front um, have been keeping me keen. Um, but yeah, just over the moon with that. A brilliant result. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, um, I'd like to thank Ron Hodgson Specialist Cars, um, my brother Joe Hodgson, um, Nitro Helmets, in competition Ian Newton, Myra Newton Gibbo, um, Silkaline, Thundersport, all the medics, all the marshals. Dave Lewis, who's done heaps of work on my bike all week, and I wouldn't have been here without Dave. Um, Acer compressors and equipment, 
And um, yeah, I'd just like to say it's a shame that we'll be losing a few of the riders next year, the likes of Tom, Sam, um, Callan, but you know, I'll miss them, but uh, good, good season. Callan Cooper, champion, but a second position for you in this race. Yeah, it's good. I won everything now, so it's just having a bit of fun out there. Had a good battle with Dee. Had a massive moment on the warm up lap, which wasn't good. I ended up going across the grass, which is quite embarrassing. But uh, yeah, it's a good race, good fun. Ended up with a second position, which isn't too bad. And any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, my mum, dad, uh, Duke, um, John Davies, and um, Bridgestone, Ian Newton, uh, Aprilia, and uh, Silkley. Thanks. And race winner. David Allingham, that was a close race. Um, yeah, it was close. Uh, in the first race, uh, didn't have uh, my tyres weren't right up to heat. You know, they weren't warm enough. Um, and then I struggled in the first couple of laps to come through. And when I got up to third uh, in the Dutch race, those boys were gone. So in this race, I made sure um, go from the start, just rode protective lines all over. Um, I knew it'd be hard for Cal to pass me, come up the inside, but uh, come around the outside. Sorry, um, I was just riding protective lines that whole race. So maybe our lap times weren't up to speed, but still won it. So I'm happy enough with that. Well done. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank all Thundersport for doing a great job. You know, all the marshals and medics. Um, I'd like to thank my dad and Gail for coming this weekend, my brother as well. And Sid as well, Sid as well. <laughs> um, <and> I, <laughs> put me off now. Um, uh, and I'd like to thank Ian and Meyer Newton. Meyer's doing pit board, so thank you very much, Meyer. Well, we're one race down, one still to go. The final race of 2012 coming up straight after the break. Welcome back to GP Racing Dream, the next step here at Mallory Park, the final race of 2012. The champion already crowned there, number seven, JDF Racing is Callan Cooper. But it's still all up for grabs for second overall. David Allingham, race one winner, looking to end the season on another high. Now I can tell you that Tom Oliver there, number 20, is actually on borrowed machinery. He smashed his bike up in race one. That bike is actually supposed to go to Callum Cameron Lee, a super team, ready for next year. But there's some work going on on that. And such is uh, the great help that these guys get from Ian Newton at In Competition. Uh, he is on a guest bike, Tom Oliver, trying to get as many points. Now, without reaching for the abacus, the simple math is that uh, Tom Oliver has to finish ahead of Sam Cox by three or four places. Sam Cox is number 54 on the second row. We'll try and keep you up to date with how that one pans out as we get on. But uh, from the line, it's looking like a good start again from David Allingham from Callan Cooper in second. The pair of them side by side around Gerrard's this first turn. Uh, in third place there, looked like Will Hodgson from fourth on the grid. Here they go now, tipping down into Edwina's. 11, David Allingham leads. That Will Hodgson running wide. Oh, and there's a rider that's gone down there. And that's, is that David Allingham? David Allingham has gone down. Number 11 from the lead and uh, initially getting up and feeling okay, but maybe now a bit winded. Uh, number 11, David Allingham down, the Ulsterman race one winner. And he looks a bit hurt here. And, uh, well, that signal from the marshal indicates that we should be getting red flags anytime soon. And I suspect that is what we will see. And the foot is coming out and the red flags are indeed out. So the race has been stopped. And that's for the safety of uh, David Allingham, who is now out of that race. We will be getting a fresh restart here. Eight laps. No David Allingham. It's almost a carbon copy of race one, isn't it? But uh, hopefully David is up and OK. David doesn't feature in that championship fight for second, though. So that's still on. That, that does mean, however, that Callan Cooper will just have Will Hodgson to play with. And Will is fighting through turn one. Callan Cooper got the whole shot. Will Hodgson around the outside. What a move from Will. Will has mentioned in that interview, it was sad to see the top three in the championship moving on. I don't think he means it because it might make his life a bit easier next season. Oh my word, into Edwinas. That's an enormous crash for Will. Well, commentators curse. Will Hodgson goes down big time into Edwinas, perhaps just carrying a bit too much speed. And Callan Cooper uh, resumes the race lead in second there, going around the outside of Tom Oliver. That looked like Luke Thackeray, as we now see number uh, that's Keenan Armstrong. Scott Adam, number 38, was going through there also on what looked to be Clinton Carver, number 37. Wow, there's all sorts of drama going on. Will Hodgson did get up and walk away, so hopefully no red flags this time around. But Callan Cooper's got a huge lead now ahead of Luke Thackeray. This is good going from Luke, the younger brother of the two. Uh, Jamie Thackeray just a couple of places behind, both of them from York. 
and they're hoping to contest this championship again next year. And who knows whether they might just be title contenders. They've certainly come on strong towards the end of this season. They just need to get themselves off to a decent start next year. In third place there is Ross Twyman. And when he gets going, watch out for him because he can really build some momentum and he's very much a confidence rider. When things are going well, he looks pretty unstoppable. There's Alex Baker. But it's still Callan Cooper that leads, heading into Shaw's hairpin. Luke Thackeray holding off the advances of Ross Twyman for second place. And further back, Sam Cox in seventh. Tom Oliver, there is Tom, number 20. It's looking okay for Tom at the moment. I think it might just be all right, but we'll have to wait and see. That is going to be very close for second and third in the championship overall as we come to the end of this race. But Tom Oliver needs to hold on to the top three or four all he can and try and make sure that those bikes in between him stay in between him and the orange and blue leathers there of Sam Cox, the rider from Malden. Back at the front though, it's still Callan Cooper that leads now, trying to make a move up into second place. Here comes Ross Twyman. No, it doesn't work out there, but Sam Cox does make a move up the inside of Louis Dawson. He makes up a place. There you see number 54, the rider with the orange and blue leathers, RSR Motorsport. He's sponsored by still Callan Cooper. That leads though from Luke Thackeray and Ross Twyman. They really are closing in onto the back of Callan Cooper now, who just seems to be easing off. He looks very relaxed out front, but it's that battle for second place overall that we need to keep our eyes on because, well, I can see in the background already, Sam Cox has made another place up now. So it's not looking good for Tom Oliver. Worst case scenario here, Tom will finish in the top three of the championship, but uh, he had his hopes set on finishing second, ideally. But he is on borrowed machinery. It doesn't quite work out. Ross Twyman's had to go straight on. Ross was catching Callan Cooper, but Ross Twyman has had to go straight on, and he rejoins. Let's see. Well, he still rejoins in third. He's not made any advantage, so that uh, he won't be punished for that but there's a bit of breathing space now for Callan Cooper out the front of this one. He'll be completely unaware of what was going on behind him. But Ross Twyman just made a bit of a mistake. Still Luke Thackeray in second. I should just note, there's his brother, Jamie. Luke hasn't been on the podium, I don't think, this season as yet. So this would be a, an epic result for the younger Thackeray brother. There's number 28 and number 23. 28, Keenan Armstrong, and 23, Adrian Pendrill, both just inside the points, 14th and 15th as we speak, but Callan Cooper looking to end the year on a high. Three times a champion this year. Look in the background though, this fight for second place and Sam Cox is very much getting himself involved. Sam needs to be a bit careful. He doesn't need to do anything too dramatic here. Twyman it is that has the advantage. He's actually, despite that mistake, just put in a brilliant lap almost. Well, he's not quite as quick as Callan Cooper's, but it's up there. They're into the, uh, the late 55s. There is your race leader, Callan Cooper, through the bus stop chicane. And look at that, Ross Twyman now. Second place ahead of Luke Thackeray. And in the background there, that is, that is Sam Cox. He's catching, you know. Sam Cox is going to wrap up second in the championship. That's number 94, Jamie Thackeray. So Tom Oliver's fallen right back through the pack. And that's not going to work out well for the rider from Colchester. He was the runner-up last year in the Aprilia Super Team Championship. He's going to have to settle for third in the 450s this year and hopefully we'll catch a word with him after this race is done and dusted. Cooper is home and dry, but this battle for second continues. Luke Thackeray looking for a podium, and just behind him is his older brother, Jamie Thackeray. Well, there'll be some elbows here, surely, into Shaw's hairpin as the two brothers try to get on the podium. Ross Twyman in second there, number 15, looks to have it, but Sam Cox really laid on the brakes up the inside of Jamie Thackeray. Can Jamie hold on to it? Who knows? But it's Callan Cooper that's going to win the final race of 2012. He won the championship at the last round at Cadwell Park. He is a star of the future. Keep an eye out for the name, folks. Callan Cooper on the JDF Aprilia wins it. Ross Twyman takes second. It's Luke Thackeray with his first podium in third, ahead of his brother, Jamie Thackeray. Sam Cox takes fifth place, but more importantly, he is the runner-up of 2012. And then it's Bradley Jones sixth, Louis Dawson seventh, Ben Luxton eighth, Tom Oliver ninth, third overall in 2012, and Alex Baker a solid tenth. And there are the three happy campers. Callan Cooper in the middle, Ross Twyman on the left, and new to the podium, Luke Zachary on the right. Confirmation of the final standings. Cooper wins it then. Cox second, just 
ahead of Tom Oliver, Will Hodgson and David Allingham fifth. Third position in the Aprilia RRV 450 Cup, Luke Thackeray. You worked your way up the grid there, first time on the podium, you must be happy. Uh, yeah, I started from eighth on the grid. Um, I managed to get up there pretty quick on the first two corners. And once I was into second, it was, uh, it was quite a good race from there. We both had up on my tail, but uh, it was quite good. I'd like to thank all my sponsors, uh, Numa, uh, Norbjorn for racing, and uh, Brilliant Challenge, well, all the Brilliant Challenge, Ian Newton, uh, my mum and dad, my, my grandma and granddad, mainly my granddad does a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, so, cheers. And second position goes to Ross Twyman. An excellent position for you there. How do you feel? Yeah, that was a that was a really tough race. You know, just Cow's pace this weekend has been you know so fast, and yeah, I'm really happy to end it on a high. You've ended on a good result. Any sponsors to thank? Yeah, I'd just like to thank um, Brown and Mason Demolition, Alan Brinkman, Agri, uh, SW Flooring, Dolphin Motorhomes, um, and uh, uh, Braziers, and uh, my whole family for coming watch this weekend. Thank you. Last race of the day and yet again another win, there's no stopping him. Callum Cooper, how do you feel? It's always good to finish the championship on a win, a uh, high as well for ready for next year. It was great, it was so cold out there then with Dean Will crashing, I was taking it real easy on the first few laps, but it got a bit of heat and style, got some good laps in and just kind of took it on from there. A brilliant end result, any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, my mum, dad, Auntie from uh, DC, Duke and all the Thunder Sport lot. Um, Mary does my pit boards, Dave and my, my, my mechanic Dave and uh, everyone else has helped out, it's been a good, good. Excellent result, thank you. Tom Oliver, third in the championship in the Aprilia RRV 450s, you must be over the moon with that result. Yeah, it's brilliant, uh, end to the season, um, it's been a fantastic year, like the championship's just the pace is so fast and brilliant competition. Um, yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, also I'd like to thank uh, Camex, all my sponsors, Camex Haulage, Cups Direct, Anglia Fixings, and also I'd like to say a massive thank you to the Ben Gortry Foundation because uh, they're just doing brilliant help to young riders and that, and uh, they've supported me this year, so really massive thanks to them. Second overall in the Prillia RIV 450 Championship, Sam Cox. A brilliant result for you there in second position. Yeah, it's um, been a long season, a really, really hard season. I've absolutely loved every minute of it. The lads have pushed me all the way. Without these cup boys, I really wouldn't be where I am at the moment. Like Tom, Cal, David, just everyone on the grid. Will just pushing us all the way. And um, I set out. I would have liked, obviously, to win a championship would have been nice, but top three was my ultimate goal and I've gone out and achieved my goal and I'm really proud of my um, achievements this season. Um, I really did, I did my best all, all the way and um, I had some brilliant support from everyone and without some people I wouldn't, wouldn't have, would never have got the chance in a 450 so I really have to thank them. It's been, yeah, just, I'm gonna, it's a sad, I'm gonna be sad to leave the 450s and uh, I'd just like to say thank you to AF Switch Gear. Power System Partners, Electro Pro Solutions, um, Mum, Dad, my girlfriend Amy, Brad, my, bro my brother, um, my uncle Martin, Spring 11, RSL Motorsport, all those guys, and just Ian Newton, Myra, Fun Sport, just, they all put a good show, so uh, they just do a brilliant job every time, so I look forward to seeing them at the presentation and have a few drinks with them. Well, that's it for 2012. Some epic racing in the 450s. We'll be back at Brands Hatch in March 2013. But from myself, Steve Day, and from Grace Webb, it's goodbye. <laughs>